Hi everyone. Happy New Year. I'll continue to do my best to entertain you in this year and I appreciate if you help me improve my woodworking skill as well as this channel. And here's the first project of the year. This is an Okamochi style tool caddy with a Kumiko sliding door. There were so many mistakes but I somehow finished it. Let's see how I made it. Again, these are Paulonia. It's tough and light, so it's a good material for a toolbox. But to be honest, I bought other hardwood for this project. The thing is, it was raining too much and I had no chance to dimension the lumber I got. So, I ended up going to four different Daiso to buy their Paulonia cutting balls and craft balls and redesigned everything. At least I like designing. Then I quickly made the easy parts such as a drawer, shelf board and back panel. Oh, and let me tell you what okamochi is. It is basically a tote that Japanese use for food delivery. And this specific style I'm making is inspired by one that they use for ramen noodles. Since I work in a small space and I like to put things away at the end of each day, I thought this kind of box is good for my use. So far, things went well and now I work on the main structure. It's supposed to be just simple joints so I rushed to finish this process outside when the rain stopped. And if you watch the sewing box video, you know the Paulonia is very stable wood, but I don't have to consider the wood movement. So this build was going to be an easy and relaxed one. Just in case, I kind of followed the classic grain orientation rules as usual. Oh, and if you are a beginner, don't be afraid to make a dado joint with a rabbit on the edge. Of course I tried to make each board flat and uniform thickness, but it doesn't mean I can always do it perfectly. Like the picture, if you cut the rabbit on the edge, the rabbit will adjust the imperfection of the wood thickness, and as a result, it helps the joint to get tighter, and the box keeps the good square shape. It seems like all I need to do is just glue them to finish, but from here is where I made a lot of mistakes. Oh, I know I was the one who was talking about the rabbit, but I cut the rabbit in the wrong piece where I didn't need. To fix it, I just glue the strip and at least this part isn't visible. Then, here, Paulonia is soft, so the fiber broke where I'm supposed to insert the sliding door. This part is visible, so I ended up cutting a joint on the edge and attached another piece to reinforce. Here's the glue up. I did a super stupid mistake here too. This piece I'm gluing is for the other side. See the edge thing I just fixed for the front sliding door? It's on the rear side now. In addition, I cut one rabbit in the wrong thickness on the top board. I will explain this mistake later. After the messy glue up, I was finishing the drawer. I usually get depressed when I make mistakes by my carelessness, but at the same time, it's a good stress to enjoy that I feel I'm challenging myself, so I even enjoy it. Maybe. And 
I also trimmed the excess parts of the joints. Moving on to making a front sliding door. Whenever it's about the thing where I put Kumiko in, it's always difficult. It's because I have to be able to chamfer all pieces while all the pieces require me to cut joints and make a rabbit to insert Kumiko in a little over half an inch thickness board. And yes, here I crushed it. I didn't want to make the same piece again, so I decided to use mahogany piece to fix as an accent. You know, it's a toolbox. So it has to have my favorite mahogany so people can tell what type of woodworking I like and what wood species I like by looking at my toolbox, right? Now Kumiko. I'm using one eighth of an inch basswood and cutting it with a marking gauge. With this relatively a stable workbench, cutting the strip is so easy. I made a tutorial video for how to cut strips and make Mitsukude Kumiko last year, so if you are interested in them, please check the links in the description. They are one of my early time videos, so I sound kind of weird, but I still follow the way I explained there. Anyways, I see minor gaps on the kumiko, and I think I have to practice it once in a while for a better result, but here's the final product. Oh yeah, can you close your eyes halfway to see it? Yeah, it looks cool, right? That's what I wanted to make, but let's open up the eyes and see the reality. Here was the gap I was talking about. It's due to the wrong measurement where I needed to leave half an inch rabbit out of about 9 16 of an inch board, but I cut 1 eighth of an inch, so there is a little less than 1 16 of an inch gap. Anyways, my woodworking goal for this year is, I want to be able to finish this size project without any mistakes. With regards to my channel, I assume it's still in development phase, so I want to try something new like two reviews, sharing basic techniques I find for a beginner, or introducing interesting woodworking things I find on the internet, on top of what I have been doing. So maybe I'll try each of them soon, and I really appreciate your feedback. I guess that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, I would be happy if you liked the video and happier if you subscribe to this channel. If you have any suggestion to my video, it's also welcome. See you!